for the carrots, I'm going to use a wet paper towel to keep it moist. And I love this food container because it's made from glass, so I'm able to keep things fresh longer. And even better, I can just take out all the air and it will preserve it even more. So I can keep the food in there five times longer as it would be just in a regular jar. For the celery, I'm able to use some fabric because I know it's not going to color it. And I have these, when I ordered some jars, the big ones that I keep in the pantry. And this is just came with that because it's for making kombucha. And I just use it whatever I need for. So I'm going to make it wet a little. Just get some water on it and I'm just going to put it around it just to keep it moist Thank you. 
that I smeared around this nice sewer smell juice on the floor I think I'm just going to mop it Okay, so I am good with food this is not how it's supposed to look like that's supposed to be in the cabbage and rolled up in there but I didn't had I didn't have any cabbage so I just did the easy way and usually I use this big 
pot to cook it slowly in there but now I have the chicken soup that I want to cook for a long long time and I also have this tomato one I just put the meatballs in there basically the same meatballs so the same recipe that was the same batch so this one just had maple syrup in there salt and pepper that needs a lot of maple syrup and I'm already drooling this is gonna be really good and also that meat supposed to go into a pepper so we call it as a stuffed pepper in Hungary but I don't have any pepper so we're just gonna roll just like with that <laughs> it's missing some pieces but it's gonna be fine it's still gonna taste good I also wanted to share with you the process I made with organizing the refrigerator and I have some stuff that I just bought but also I need to buy more vegetables so on the upper shelf what I find the best that works for me the best I love to use my jars it has a lid I never lose them and it's very easy to organize I can just line them up and I get to see what's inside of them they are great size I got bigger than this size and I have a taller one I have some beef broth on the back <laughs> and this is from this is a leftover from the breakfast so basically this would be something that is um, we can eat right away or a snack and this shelf is I have the carrots that you have seen me previously prepare so I peel them they are ready to go I got some celery in that I need to label them so I like to use just a little tape and a write on it with some sharpie or something and um, it just makes it easier and I opted with this type of container I got one long long time ago like almost 15 years ago at Tuesday morning and I was never able to find another one and then Amazon came <laughs> and I find uh, a package of three so I got this size the medium and the small one and we love this when we travel and I can organize my freezer with that the downside well downside the realistic side is that it's not as cheap as a plastic or a glass one so but I think it's a good investment because for traveling is definitely a better way to use and it's not as because it's not heavy which makes it easier because I had some trouble with the glass they heavy and they broke as I freeze stuff in them so these ones usually just some kind of raw prepared vegetables I got more of that and I got some dairy free cheese and this is something I'm going to use for a soup so when I have more food in the refrigerator I like to process them if it's possible on the day when I bring them home so it doesn't turn out to be a chaotic <laughs> mess but it doesn't always happen but my goal is to just process them soon as it enters so it's going to be an easier use the other reason I love these because of not just the size but the shape so it's almost like square but it's round enough that it's easy to clean but it definitely I can use all the space if you can see that it just fills all the space unlike the round ones like you basically just losing all the space around that although I love these ones if I have more a month that I have to keep in the refrigerator and also uh, it has a lid so I can prepare some dough in there or whenever I need something to bake or bigger amount to cook those are amazing so I use them as a mixing bowl as well and in the drawers we got some cheese on sale and we buy it as bulk okay so on the side I got some condiments and things like that and I have this little Ikea boxes down here where I organize well it was organized at some point but <laughs> so I just like to use this little boxes this hub to keep one kind of food in one place I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye